it's going down. Japan has accepted the giant robot battle versus America. I'm extremely excited about this. You're gonna have a huge robot from Japan and a huge robot from America face off to see who wins the prize. Dude, Gundam Wing 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. What I find funny and interesting is that America is the one that threw the challenge. That they were like, yo, Japan. We want to battle you in giant robots. I'm like, did you guys forget the memo that this is Japan's thing? Like, it th is their this thing. is their thing. Like, this is part of their culture are giant robots, okay? And I'm like, you guys, America is just like, hey, we got, we got a big robot. We could take Japan. No, you can't. No, I'm letting you know right now. No, you can't. They've been doing this for years. They've been making these things for years upon years upon years upon years. America, just like the Japanese said, they just strap guns or something and like, oh yeah yeah yeah, it works. Oh, we're gonna make we're gonna make a thing. We're gonna strap a gun to it. Like, great. What I also think is really cool about these robots is they're not just they're not just robots that are AR remote control. A person goes inside. Yeah, these like, are like mech suits. Yeah, these are oh, suits. This is insane looking. This is mind look. This is legit Gundam Wing. This is what I see the future being. Everyone having their own robots. This is it. Cause right now Japan's selling theirs for around a million. Okay. Like one million on Amazon. You got a million dollars? If you got a million If I had a million dollars, I swear to you. Oh, if I was rich, I'd have one. I swear I would. I'd be in my front yard just walking out there in my mech suit, just doing net casual everyday things, getting the paper, be like, oh man, that tree's blocking my son. Yeah. Poo! And just shooting that sucker. Like Can you imagine like I want to say like 50 years, 50 to like 75 years when this is what cars are. Just when everyone people, in a mech suit? Yeah, everyone in mech, like everyone owns one and you're like, you're 17 and your parents are like, you know what I got you? I got you a Gundam, a giant yeah, robot. A Gundam. That's and they're like, have. and it's like, man, my parents only spent 3,000 on my Gundam. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, sweet 16. I wanted a purple Gundam and they got me a green. Dude, like, that's what I'm saying. You know how crazy that would be? Like, imagine like when we're in that future when everyone has one and it's constant like, I feel like, mm, I feel like before everyone has one, this is gonna be like the military's new baby. You know yeah. what I mean? Like this, this, I feel like this is what they're building it for. Cause other than that, I don't see why anybody needs to build these yeah. crazy giant robot mech suits. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can think about is like, this will be a military tactic. Like you have people inside these giant robots, like in Pacific Rim, and they're just walking around and they're fighting. Like, and these things have weapons on them. Like these things yeah. are built with they weapons. They have like cannons, they have cannons, they have a, uh, Tarot guns. Yep. Like they have. It's insane how impressive that uh, impressive of a job that they've done. It's one of those things where you look at it and like being in that kind of thing, you're like, oh, that's so cool. But at the same time, that's terrifying. Yeah, like it's what are terrifying. They, what's, that, what's actually what is all this being built for? Yeah, like it's where's terrifying. the world going? And one thing that I liked, and there was a very interesting tidbit. Okay, with the um, what do you call that gun that rotates when you shoot? Turret gun. That gun. In order to activate that gun while inside your personal cockpit inside of this giant mechanism, all you have to do is smile. Yeah. There's a that camera list. that reads your smile. Listen, this man, I'm going to have to have you guys do something. If you can, could you find like a video or something that plays? Like, it is insane. It is insane. Insane what this thing is like. It's I don't know. I can't. I, I feel like I can't describe it properly. No, I th like it's mind blowing. If the world were to go in that direction, and I would think it'd be great though. Yeah, I, I there's like I said, there's parts of me I think this is super cool because it's like something you see in the movies or yes. see something as a kid. You grow up and you have the action figures and you're in a robot and you're like, oh Optimus Prime, I'd love to just be able to control a robot or a Megazord or whatever. And it's like, dude, they're making it. Like it's a pop. It, it, they're doing it. They're doing it in Japan and they're doing really well in Japan. Yeah. I've seen the American version not so yeah. much and in America just like Japan we're calling you out and Japan was like Come on out. We'll do it, but we want melee like we want to physically feel us knock you out And I'm we want like, hand-to-hand giant robot action. That's, That's what they want. Look at the one thing I'm saying though is I would be terrified being in the cockpit. Yeah, fighting. And I'm getting like hit. I'd be like, boom. Like, no, it's it's like so rock scary. Like sock and bow bar. Yeah, I'm like, like no, <laughs> no. Which is why when I when I first realized that people go inside, and I'm like, wait, they want to battle with people inside these suits. This isn't remote control. Like these are people inside the suits. And then Japan was like, yeah, and we want melee. And I'm like, wait, I'm, you physically want to 
punch while someone's in a mecha suit. That's insane to me. You don't think that it'd be safer using something like that? Because I think melee would be way safer than two giant robots going at each other and just shooting guns. Yeah, I mean, for way the, safer. For man. the challenge, they did imply that they're not going to use crazy real ammunition like yeah. bullets and stuff. Like they're going to use giant, giant, giant paintballs uh, or BBs. Uh, things of that nature, but that's still powerful and you still have a person in yeah. there like things happen like things can happen But again, I'm going back to the smile because that thing to me just sounds It sounds insane that like you control a gun with a smile So as you're pulling the trigger on people, you're just like ha 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 You're just smiling and shooting people and it, it tells you and it's like hey man try don't forget that every time you smile, you're just spraying people down with these with these BBs all over the place. Yeah, the amount of BBs, I think it said something like 6,000 BBs. A, I want to say, I would say a second, but I'm like, that's a little ridiculous. Yeah, it's I a big I number a though. I think I read a minute. Like 6,000 a minute of just being like. <gasps> that's a lot. Like that is crazy For those fast. of you who know Robocop, that's an ED-209. Like ED-209 just rolled up in this piece. It was just like, hey man, I'm spraying all of you people down. And again, it's cool, but at the same time, it's kind of like, dude, it's where is this leading? Where is this leading? Where is this leading? I want to see, it sucks that I won't be around, but in a hundred years, I think that that would be the great, like, I want to get in one. Man, yes! I want to try, I want to get in one. 100% I want to get in one. It's, ugh! I, we have to, we have to make a million. I know, I, wa I want I want to get in one, somebody, send this to Japan yeah. or something. Like, I want to get inside one of these mech suits and just just get an understanding because, like, the, the technology is just, like, it's blowing my mind where we're at. Do you think that mech suits are going to take over the world of sport? Or, like, Android, like, robots are going to take over the world of sport? I don't know if they'll take over the world of sport because we're already so built in our ways, but I do think they will be added. Like, there's already been are TV you, like, shows of, like, battle bots and things yeah, like that, but I don't saying, think they'll don't take think... over. You don't think that they would, let's say, a hundred years from now, that it could go into, let's say, I don't want to say video games, but like people that are controlling robots. Okay. And they're playing football. The robot is playing football instead of actual humans. I'm not saying it's impossible. I just don't know if it'll ever outweigh what we have now, because everyone like with athletes and like just everything and all that stuff is. I'm not saying it's impossible. Bro, we're getting closer and closer to transhumanism every day. I'm telling you, there's I'm, like, there's robotic happening. cards, there's all these crazy knee replacements, and this replacement, and this replacement, and this, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we're getting closer and closer every day. One of these days, it's gonna become self-aware, and Skynet is gonna be a thing, and we're gonna be in trouble.